For the second straight year, we have some countdowns to bring you as this time 2022 winds down. And one more change, not Mike Luke has been Peck. Yeah, and uh, I was here for most of it. Yeah, uh, you for were. About 11 of the 12 months. I yeah. uh, got a pretty good dosage of 2022. All right, so first up tonight, we're going to go with the top 10 Aggie football plays of the season. I know only five wins, but we do have some doozies in there. Even before I came here, I knew all about this guy, number 10, Antonio Johnson. Aggies at Auburn, third and long. They're going to try a quarterback run. Robbie Ashford, get other ideas. Antonio Johnson, he tends to have that effect on people. I think we had him hit stick last year as well. Yes. He's going to be going into the NFL draft. Definitely going to see him, miss seeing him with the Aggies. Let's go to play number nine from the Miami game. Hurricanes lining up for a field goal, but it's blocked by Albert Regis. Big number 15 getting a paw on it, oddly enough. Miami missed another field goal in this game. The Aggies do not give up a touchdown at all. They get the dub, 17 to nine. There's number 15, not tonight. And number eight, second half against Ole Miss, trying to work their way back into it. Connor Wigman throwing it up for Evan Stewart. And look, he said, hey, I found this ball. You want it? First down Aggies. More to come from Mr. Stewart later, but I think that's going to be a connection we'll see for many years to come. God, what a crab. Play number seven, Aggies hosting Sam Houston. Haynes King to Anaya Smith down the seam. But not about them. Check out number eight. Bam! Lowers the boom. 63 yards to the house goes Mr. Sub-Zero himself. One more look at it. Clean in the clocks. And it wins it 31-0. You'll Keith Brown there delivering the lumber. All right, Aggies taking on Alabama. Haynes King looking deep for Moose Muhammad. Moose! Oh, tipped it to himself. And the first down lays it out. I think Pops was on hand for this game as well. And look at this. A lot of concentration there. Of course, I think we'll be seeing Moose a little bit later on this countdown as well. Absolutely. Number five now, AM taking on LSU. Game tied at 17. Tigers coming off a TD. Jenny Daniels read option. <coughs> Coughs it up. Edron Cooper pokes the ball loose. Damani Richardson right into your living room. Scoop and score. 27 yards to the end zone. Aggies rattle off 21 straight. Including that one, they take down LSU at home to end the season in style. All right, and then taking on App State, again, we'd probably like to forget, but uh, second half, they're down 14-7. You need a big play, so who are you going to go to? How about this guy, Devon H., and you know what they say about him on kickoffs. He's got world-class speed and, and some nifty moves as well. Takes it back to the house. Mr. H. Chain also off to the NFL draft, uh, but he's going to be missed on offense and special teams for sure. You're not lying about that one. Number three now at Alabama, final drive, trying to take down the Crimson Tide. Haynes King, flush, just throws it up, but it's a good thing he's got number one. Evan Ooh. Stewart, are you kidding me? Moss is two, not one, but two Crimson Tide defenders. It's his second top 10 play, and he's just a freshman. I think we'll have more next I year. I think so. He's got many more in his future. Number two, Aggie's taking on LSU. The Moose is still on the loose. Moose Muhammad, he's only got one hand available. Only needs one hand to make that grab. The defender was holding the other one, but no flag on the play, but luckily didn't need it. Aggies get that upset win. He's back too. Yes. Yeah. Scary, scary. Play number one, Arkansas looking to go up 21-7, but it said KJ Jefferson coughs up the football. Tyreek Chappelle, he falls in his lap. He's going to get tackled. He says, no way. Damani, you take it. And Richardson down the boundary. 82-yard house call. That flipped the entire game, been the momentum back in the Aggies' favor, and they would go on, thanks to a missed field goal, to take down Arkansas. But if you think Arkansas scores their bend, they're up by two scores. You think A&M comes back? Yeah, I, no, not at all in that game. It felt for a moment like that might turn around the whole season. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was fun. That was a good start, yeah, right? I would say so. And we right. got more good stuff coming up tomorrow as well. A absolutely. Tomorrow night we're going to look at the top ten plays from Aggie sports non-football, correct? We'll do it. All right.